Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Janet and in today's video, I thought we would unbox this box, which is from Sephora. So if you'd like to see what I picked up from Sephora recently, then just keep watching. Okay guys, we're gonna unbox this, but I have, um, I'm done the seal and I have taken out the little packing slip. Disclaimer, if you hear any noise, it is Dylan because he is here with me. He's here with me and currently is sitting under this table. I don't know why. Okay, so, ow. I placed an order at Sephora and recently and there is this little bag. This was one of those, you know how they go, if you spend like 25 or $35 and in this code you get this gift, that's what this is. So I got this. It's a smooth and shine, a collection of lightweight oils and oil infused treatments and stylers to nourish hair, reduce frizz and restore shine. Okay, let's do it then. So, okay, that's cute. Let's fill it. You open the box, this is what it looks like. All right, let's, I'm gonna take everything out because on the back of the box, it has like a description of the product. So let's do that. Uh, first thing is this little guy. So I don't know, Bargio, Bargio, it's an oil with rosehip, argon, and coconut oil blend. So this is an eight millil milliliter, right? Yeah. Eight. Okay, next up we have this oil. It is 10 milliliters. And is it quay? I guarantee you I'm saying this wrong. It's O-U-A-I, it's not gonna pick up. But yeah, so we have that one. Should put those all over there. Next we have this Verb Ghost Oil. This is 17 milliliters. Let's see if it's gonna show up. Ba -ba. Is it gonna show up? We have next an IGK coconut oil gel. This is 15 milliliters. It's rich kid coconut oil gel. Okay, living proof. Frizz Nourishing Oil. Now this is six milliliters. Oh, isn't it cute? I've really been liking Living Proof's products lately. So yeah. We'll give it a try. And last but least we have Bumble and Bumble hairdresser's invisible oil. This is a bomb to oil pre-shampoo mask for dry to very dry hair. I'm pretty sure my hair is dry since it is dyed. What does she do? She, it's, it's not my real color. This is, but this isn't. <laughs> So this is what that looks like. So yeah, so what do you do with this? Just 
distribute it throughout the dry hair. Let sit for 20 minutes. Follow with a hairdresser invisible oil sulfate free shampoo and conditioner. Okay. So we're gonna try those out and see how they are. I know my um, hairdresser, she uses burr products and I'm pretty sure she's used this in my hair before. So that'd be nice. Next is this bronzer and glow, Natasha Denona bronzer and highlighter. Let's take this out of the packaging. I didn't expect it to be like travel size, but it is what it is at this point. Can you even see? There we go. So let's put it on. Perfect. Oh yeah. I didn't put much for the highlighter. Can we even see it? On my hand? Probably not. Oh, you can see that highlighter. I needed a new bronzer, so I thought I would give this a go. All right, these are the two samples that I received. So, the first is a Wild Sea Firming Serum. It's supposed to smooth, boost elasticity. All right, I've kind of been into serums lately. I'm not sure why, but I have. And this is the Daisy Love Marc Jacobs little sample set. We'll use it. Oh, I got an extra sample because I got three samples. So this is the, who is this? Benefit Boingine Cakeless Concealer. I got it in shades one, two, and four. And that's what the little sample set looks like. Two more items. So I got a sample of this Sephora collection. What is this called? Mm -mm. Cream lip stain. This one's in, I think it's called Pink Tea. It says number 40 on the bottom. But like I really liked it. I don't know. All of a sudden I have been into... Like lipsticks. Well, really, I've only. I, let me rephrase that. Recently, I have been into using this product. Not any others. Just this one. Well, I take that back. I do use a um, like topper on top of it because, of course, this dries down matte. And it is a little drying on your lips. So I use a like gloss to help with that. But, so this is the color. It's really like neutral. I don't want to waste much of it because I love it. See it? Okay, so I just applied it to my lips and hopefully you can tell what a pretty color it is. And then I also picked up, what is this called? This is a Sephora Collection Lip Liner to Go. And it has 13. Let's see. 
suck at these little things. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe we did it. We did it! Alright, so this is the color. I kind of hoped it would match with this. I don't think it's going to. Oh well. I'll still figure out. But there it is, right beside. All right, let's, oh wait, I was gonna tell you this, number 13, pink beige. All right, let's throw those back in there and then let's open the sucker. This thing is called, it says 19 cyber packets. Okay, travel ready trinkets bag. All right, so it has a little handle, and then it unzips all the way around. First up is a makeup artist's best friend, the Clinique. Take the day off on cleansing balm. <laughs> I actually do like this. I do have one and I used it. This is the Makeup Forever HD foundation. I have always wanted to try this. So I'm super excited about this. I have, it looks like two shades that might match me. And that's what the front of it looks like. This is the Fresh Lotus Young preservative dream face cream. Okay, we ain't mad at you. We will try you out. I don't know if we'll try this. This is a Playa Everyday Shampoo. It's coconut water, sugar bee extract, and a super natural conditioner. Mm hmm I don't change up my shampoo and conditioners, really. This is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. All right, we will try you. And Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Spray. We do like this, okay. This is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I have this, so, I mean, I do like this product. I have the big drop. This is Regio Scalp Revival. There's a charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo, and then a charcoal and peppermint oil cooling gel jelly conditioner. I don't really switch up my shampoo and conditioner, so probably won't be using it. Next we have the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I don't have much NARS stuff, so I'll definitely be trying these out. it. But yeah, that is all that was in this little travel ready trinkets bag is what they called it. So yeah, thank you so much for taking the time and clicking on this video. I really do appreciate it. And I love reading your comments. Um, the past week I've been sick. That's why there hasn't been but the one video and I am really behind on responding to the comments of the giveaway announcement video. So I do want to take the time to apologize to you guys for that. I uh, I don't know what has happened. Um, they think that it's allergies. So in that video, which if you haven't seen it, I will put it up here. In that video, you'll notice that my voice is horrible. <laughs> um, I did end up losing it for like the next three days. It just progressively got worse. Um, I did go to the doctor. She just thinks it's allergies or a sinus infection going on. 
So hopefully we will get that cleared up and be on the road to recovery. <laughs> so thank you guys that um, wish me, you know, to get well. I really do appreciate it. And thank you for subscribing and entering that giveaway. Should I tell you now? I'll tell you now. So, okay. So on this past Friday, Jeffree Star released his Valentine's Day collection. And in that collection were three mystery boxes, um, a premium, which was the lowest tier, I believe. I don't remember what the other two tiers were, but they were of course higher tiers. So I managed to get one box of all tiers plus an extra box for the second tier, which I don't remember what it's called. When those come in, I'm so excited. When those come in, I can't wait to do unboxings for you guys. I actually love Jeffree Star products. Um, it is really something that I just recently got into after the whole Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson collaboration. So yeah, I'm really late to the game, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I do know that the winner of the last giveaway did receive her box. I tracked that to see. I'm so happy that it made it there and I hope that she is enjoying it. So you guys should be on the lookout for those unboxings and yeah, another giveaway is coming. So I have rambled long enough and I'm gonna let you guys go. Again, thank you so much for taking the time to click on this video. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe before you leave and give this video a big thumbs up. Oh, and if you have any suggestions on videos that you would like me to do, go ahead and leave those in the comments. I would love to know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.